Okay. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, guys? So, today, I'm gonna show you guys how to get a real camera like this one and turn it into a webcam for your live stream. So that way, you can actually, factually get the best webcam quality in the game. And I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So the first thing you'll need is, of course, your overly expensive camera. Okay, you don't have to use a Sony camera. I know a lot of people like to use Sony cameras for this, but you don't necessarily need a Sony camera. You just need a camera with the micro HDMI slot. If you don't know what that is, it's basically... Okay, as you can sort of see, it's that bottom one right there. So just make sure the camera you're trying to use has a micro HDMI slot and you should be good to go. Okay, so the next thing you'll need is a capture card of some sort. And just like a camera, you don't need exactly what I have. Just any sort of a capture card will work. And what you'll also need is a micro HDMI cable. Now, I don't have a micro HDMI cable, but I do have a bunch of HDMI cables laying around. So I just used one of the ones I had and I bought a micro HDMI to HDMI adapter off of Amazon. So yeah, you could use a micro HDMI cable or if you have a HDMI cable, you could just buy an adapter. And lastly, to make this all work, you're going to need some sort of continuous power battery. You're going to have to do your own research based on your camera. You're going to need some sort of continuous power or AC adapter for your battery so you could keep your camera running all day without having to use your normal batteries. Okay, so now I'm showing you guys how to set this all up. Okay, first things first, obviously your battery AC adapter. This will go into your camera's battery compartment and the plug will go straight into the wall. Okay, the main thing I want to focus on is where to plug in the micro HDMI. So, okay, so the tiny part of the micro HDMI, that will go straight into your camera. Okay, so now the other end of the HDMI cable, that's going to go straight into your Elgato or your capture card. You're going to want to put it on the side that says in, not the out, but the part that says in. That's the same side as the USB port and the audio port. All right, lastly, you want to plug in the USB cable for your capture card. So this end, this will go straight into the capture card. And this end, this will go straight into your computer. So yeah, you're going to want to plug in the USB cable on the same side as the HDMI cable. And again, the other end will go straight into your computer. Alrighty, so now that you have everything set up, now it's the time to make sure your camera is turned on. Okay, now that your camera is turned on, you can now boot up OBS. And to add your webcam, you're going to go right here, click the plus sign and go to, sorry, right here, video capture device. All right. I totally knew that. Okay. Click OK. And uh, it should work right off the bat. So yeah, there you go. And if you want to resize, resize it, put it anywhere you want on the screen. Now, if for any reason your camera doesn't turn on or OBS doesn't detect your camera, here are a couple tips that saved me from a lot of headache. Okay, so first things first, make sure your camera doesn't go to sleep. Your camera might have fallen asleep, so just tap a couple buttons on your camera to wake up your camera. And the next tip I could give is to make sure all the cables are plugged in all the way. Sometimes your micro HDMI cable might not be plugged in all the way. So make sure everything's plugged in all the way. And if it still doesn't work, uh, try exiting OBS or just restarting your computer. Sometimes it, it just works like that. I don't know, it just doesn't behave sometimes. <laughs> there are no drivers that you can really download. You don't need any other application. It should just work right out the box. All right, so now that you have had everything set up now, the next time you wanna go stream, before you fire up your OBS, make sure your camera is on first. If you do, however, fire up OBS with your webcam off, it's not that big a deal. So I'm gonna turn on my webcam right now. As you can see, I get this green screen. as an easy fix for that. You just double click on your video capture device. Click deactivate and press activate again and bam you should be good to go okay so if you made it to this point in the video i'd like to personally thank you for watching the video all the way through hopefully you guys found this uh tutorial helpful i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i'll see y'all in the next video